Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about the subject wireless sensor networks. This is going to be the first video in this particular subject. So we're going to see introduction about wireless sensor networks. We're going to see the overview of the syllabus of this particular subject. Why is that you have to learn wireless sensor networks? And we're going to see what is the basic difference between wireless sensor networks and internet of things right and before starting the syllabus we'll just see what is wireless sensor network right and before going to this wireless sensor network i'd like to start with what is sensing right we know we know the information about sensor right we know what is sensor actually but technically how can we define a sensor right and for that you understand what is sensing sensing technically speaking it's about gathering the information right so it can be gathering information about a physical quantity right or a process or an object anything can be right so that is called a sensing and a device which performs that particular sensing is called a sensor right and i will give you a very good example for it right uh, we in human body we have remote sensors right i can say our eyes, ears, right, a nose, all are remote sensors. Why? How can we say that? Because eye captures or eye gathers the optical information, right? And ear gathers the acoustic sound information, right? And nose gathers the smell information, right? And now you can understand what is about sensing and what is sensor clearly, right? And sir, what is wireless sensor network, right? Uh, say for example, if I want to measure the temperature of my body, right, what I can do is I can use a single sensor, right, to, to measure that particular body temperature, right. But if I want to measure the temperature of, of a particular room, what I have to do is I have to use a lot of sensors, correct. I have to deploy a lot of sensors here and there around that particular room so that I can able to exactly get the information about the temperature of that room, correct. Right. So when you're using more sensor nodes, right, that is called as wireless sensor network, right. When there is more net, more sensors, it will work as a network, right. And this network is an infrastructureless network. Why I say that infrastructureless network? Because it is just deployed randomly, right. We don't have any specific pattern for it. If you take computer network, right, you know that uh, there are a lot of there are different types of networks, correct? LAN, WAN, MAN and all, right? And you, you, you will have certain infrastructure for it, right? But in, in a wireless sensor network, there is no defined structure. That is why it is called as infrastructure net network. Or we can also say that it is an ad hoc manner, right? So now you can understand what is wireless sensor network, right? And define, it can be defined as it is an infrastructureless wireless network that is deployed with large number of wireless sensor in a manner to monitor the physical or environmental condition, anything can be, right? Uh, understand this particular example, we are deploying many sensor to measure the temperature of that particular room, right? Now this sensor can act as a network, right? To measure the temperature of that particular room, right? And basically to understand wireless sensor network, you have to understand that is, you have a lot of nodes, Right, you have a lot of nodes. Uh, these can be different sensors. These can be different sensors. Okay, and these sensors will be normally connected to a, a device which is called a zinc. Zinc is nothing but a, a control device that is which will which will have control over all these nodes. So that is it will gather all the information. Right, it will gather all the information. Whatever sensor we have deployed throughout the room, right, we can get all the information through zinc. We cannot go ahead and get information like uh, for, indi for individuals from the individual sensors, correct? That's because we have deployed more number of sensors. So what we can do is we can use a zinc which will collect all the information and through zinc we can get the overall temperature value of that particular room, right? This is the normal uh, elements which is used in wireless sensor network and this it can be of different types. It can be a different device uh, like you can see in this particular diagram, it can be a base station right where you can see here these are the sensor nodes and this is the sensing region we are sensing this region using different sensors and those information is collected in base station 
right? And this base station can be stored in internet so that any user can get that information from the internet, right? This is a normal uh, function of wireless sensor network, right? And here you have to understand very carefully only the base station is connected to the internet, right? But the sensors are not directly connected to the internet, right? That is the basic difference between WSN and IoT, right? I would say IoT as an application of WSN, right? It is just an extension of WSN, right? And in IoT, what you will do is you will have different devices, different hardware that is connected to the internet. But here you will have different sensors, right? Which is connected to a zinc or a base station which is connected to the internet, right? Through this, you can, you can, you can easily understand what is WSN, what is IoT. Right and sensors normally right, which is used to monitor or it will used to gather information about any physical condition like temperature, pressure, like that. Right, and you can and there are a lot of sensors right now. The different versions of sensors are there. Right, moisture sensor which is used for agriculture purpose. Right, uh, accelerometer sensor, force sensor. You have a lot of sensors because the application of WSN is almost in all fields right now. Right, and you can see this. This is what I said. Why you have to study WSN, wireless sensor networks, because wireless sensor networks right now is used in almost all fields. Right from healthcare, smart home, industrial automation, intelligent buildings, right, smart cities. In everywhere we use WSN, right, and this is the applications of WSN: military application, habitat monitoring. Health application, environment, home application, industrial application, traffic, automatic systems, uh, intrusion detection, right, and underground and underwater analysis, right. I would, I would like to give you uh, a, a clear, clear information about this application. You can see this images where you can see uh, sensor networks is used in smart agriculture, right, to to identify or uh, to to analyze the crop growth, right. To monitor the crop growth, right? Sensors, a lot of sensors are used in agriculture. As I said, moisture sensor, right? Humidity sensor, uh, based upon the uh, uh, moisture value of the soil and the temperature prevails in that particular area, sunlight in that particular area, right? Uh, various nutrition or whatever thing we need for that particular agriculture purpose can be identified using the wireless sensor networks, correct? Right? And these are the other applications where you can able to uh, do wildlife man monitoring using uh, sensor networks and forest fire detection and as well as any, any disaster management can be done. Disaster identification can be done using wireless sensor networks, right? And you can see radiation sensor network where it can be used in uh, industry, industry automation to, uh, to monitor uh, uh, the radiation patterns, uh, the the disaster level or if, if there is any problem, uh, if it exceeds the threshold level, it can be easily monitored. Everything can be done using wireless sensor networks, correct? And military application, even in intrusion detection, like border fencing, right? These are very important applications and right now with almost in all fields we are using wireless sensor networks, right? Uh, in smart transport system, smart city, smart homes automation, everywhere, right? And very important application is Healthcare domain, right? Uh, right now, you have very smart devices like uh, smart watches where it will uh, it will tell you the heart rate, your pulse rate, all those things, right? Uh, the number of steps you you walk per day, everything is known th through that particular smart watches, right? You have a lot of sensors in it, right? Only because of sensors, it identifies exactly the temperature, your heart level, and all those things, right? So, healthcare application, it's not about just monitoring the uh, Parameters, health parameters. Right now, it has evolved to a great extent where we have some deadly diseases like COVID-19, right? Uh, where it affects most of the healthcare professionals. Like if they want, they have been involved in uh, monitoring the patients, they get infected because of COVID-19, right? But you with wireless sensor networks, we can able to do remote monitoring with all the sensor that is. Touchless monitoring is possible, which is a great, which is a great uh, advancement in healthcare, right? And right now, online diagnosis is also possible because uh, diagnosing is done in home, 
home itself using these sensors, right? So this is why you have to study wireless sensor networks. It can, you can be an uh, uh, electronics and some communication student or you can be from a CSE background. You have to know about this particular uh, technology because this is the technology which is going to evolve its I IoT, right? And in almost all fields, we are using the sensors and right now the codings for different sensors also evolved, right? So this is very, very important subject in this particular semester, right? And you will see the overview of the syllabus where you have, the, the syllabus is very vast. You will get a lot of information about wireless sensor networks, but uh, this is a very conceptual syllabus where you, if you understand the concept, you can write by your own, right? Uh, it's just a very theoretical subject mostly where if you understand the concept, you can write it by your own, right? And unit one, you will study basic about wireless sensor networks. You will study about challenges involved, right? You will study about the difference, what about the different sensors, what is actuator is all about, right? And you will see applications of uh, wireless sensor. And you will study about one particular tool, which is Quantiki, which is a simulated tool for wireless sensor network, right? And in unit two, you will study about technologies involved in uh, wireless sensor networks. What are the radio technologies involved, right? What are the basic concepts like time synchronization, uh, localization, all these are very important concepts in WSN and that you will study that in unit 2. And unit 3, you will study about MAC protocols, what are the different MAC protocols, what is the importance of MAC protocols, how MAC protocols is, is implemented in the Quantiki OS, all this you will study in unit 3. And unit 4, you will study about different routing techniques, right? And we, we know that routing is very, very important in wireless networks or even in computer networks. But uh, that is a great challenge in WSN because you will not be able to use sophisticated routing techniques in WSN because WSN can able to uh, use only low power devices and low protocols, which does not consume more energy, right? So this subject will be, a, this unit will be a very interesting unit where you study about uh, query based routing, negotiation based routing, geographical routing, what is the best routing that you can use for WSN, everything you will study in this unit 4. And unit 5, you will study about, mostly about uh, different tools involved in WSN, you will study about the architecture, right, you will study about AMF, DSMAP, right, and how security attacks takes place in WSN, what are, how can it can be prevented, what are the network challenges involved, you will study about all these things in unit 5, right. And as I say, this, this is only a theory subject where you can easily study by yourself, right? If you understand the concept, you can write it by your own, right? And, and as I said, we'll see the basic difference between IoT and WSN. You can just go through these points, right? But basically, as I said, IoT is interconnection of hardware where WSN is using a sensor network, you will gather the information, right? And, and another very good example, uh, very good difference is in IoT, each and every device is connected to the internet, right? Each and every node is an IoT device. That is, it can able to connect to the internet. But in WSN, only the base station or the zinc will be able to connect to the internet, right? So that is the basic difference. And apart from that, uh, you can go through these points where a consist of small number of devices that are connected to the internet. You can see low power sensors, right, that is connected to the internet only through central base station, as I said. This is more gentle and versatile, but here it is for very specified application. That is, if you want to measure temperature, you got to use only those temperature sensor, right? Like that, it's very specific, right? And you can use protocols like TCP, IP, and IoT, but here you'll use different property technologies and protocols, right? And it is mostly decentralized here, but it is deployed by a single organization because depending upon the application, we will deploy sensors. And we can say IoT as an open system and WSN as a closed system, right? And IoT is more dynamic where we can able to change uh, the model, the networks and everything, but uh, sensor network is static because once you deploy a network, right, it can be deployed in, in any field, like even in battlefield, we will deploy wireless sensor network. So we will not be able to change it then and there, right? So once you deploy that, it is a very static one, right? And it is used to gather IoT also, we can able to gather, monitor everything, right? And even here in, in WSN, you can able to gather information 
the only difference is here you use different devices here you use sensors right and this is the basic difference between iot and wsl okay and today what we have seen is we have seen the introduction about wireless sensor networks i have given you a very clear example of what is wsn what is about sensing right what is the basic difference between iot and wsn we have seen this overview of the wsn right thank you students thank you students thank you for watching kandipa indha video ungalku ellarku romba useful ah irukum nambara subscribe passionate professor and keep learning thank you very much